welcome back. Our next guest is FGCU student Austin Cobb, who just finished his service learning hours and the dreaded university colloquium class. Austin, I'd like to thank you for taking your time to be with us here today. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Well, that's our pleasure. Now, tell us a little bit about your service learning experience. Well, I volunteered at the Caloosahatchee Regional Park, which was of course named after the great Caloosahatchee River. Uh, no, I think both the river and the park were, were named after the Caloosahatchee Indians. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was great. I was able to do some, uh, some trail maintenance, um, as well as uh, getting rid of some exotic plants that they, didn't, um, that they didn't want. Oh, I love exotic things. Like the many exotic cars I have in my garage. I probably got a hundred of them, I tell you. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. Um, but actually, in this case, exotic isn't good. You see... Um, the exotic plant, um, which isn't supposed to even be there in the first place. Um, it's crowding out the, the natural plants there, um, so the natural plants don't have a chance to grow. Uh, like in this case, I was, I was pulling the Caesar weed. Now I did do some research, and I found out that the Caesar weed is actually named that because the, the leaf tastes like a Caesar salad. <laughs> I'm talking like the whole deal. Like... Croutons and, 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 and Parmesan cheese, uh, the dressing, the whole deal. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually named that because um, the, the leaf actually uh, resembles the shape of Caesar's ghost. No, palace. No, Caesar's crown, actually. Oh, crown, that was my next guess. Yeah. Now, um, I think we have a shot of, of the Caesar, the Caesar leaf. Um, if we could cut to that. Could we, could we, do we have that shot? Did we get that? Did we get that shot? Can we cut to? No? No. We, we don't. Okay, okay. No. <laughs> My producer's shaking his head. No, no, we don't have a shot. Um, Anyway, uh, tell us more about your movie, then. I didn't do a movie. I was, I was volunteering. That's right. Tell us more about that, please. Well, like I said, um, I got to, to pull some exotic plants, and as, as well, uh, I, I was able to uh, hike the trails that they had there and uh, do some just basic trail maintenance for them. Now, when you say maintenance, I think of my cars. Could you, could you explain a little bit more about that? Well, I was given some pruning shears and a rake, and um, basically I just um, walked the trails and, and uh, cut back any uh, vegetation that might be sticking uh, into the trail too far. Um, I also uh, raked in any holes um, due to hog disturbance. Whoa, now that sounds exciting. What exactly is hog disturbance? Oh, that's just soil that um, uh, has been turned up from hogs rooting around on the trail. Uh, they like to, to rake in the holes so that anyone walking the trails um, uh, won't twist their ankles. Fascinating. Now, in closing, I'm going to ask you the same question I ask all of my guests. But in, I'd like you to relate it to yourself. I'm sorry, <laughs> I said that wrong. I'd like you to relate it to your university colloquium class rather than yourself. Um, so, in ten words or less, how would you describe yourself? No. 
in 10 words or less, how would you describe you? Wait, how's this gonna work? No, wait, no, wait, just, just give me a second. Um, um, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. In 10 words or less, what would you tell someone about the university colloquium class that has never taken it? Just be ready to talk, think, work, and have fun. Very good, very nice, except I think that was 11 words, but... No, no, that was 10. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, um, just be ready to think, um, talk, work, and have fun. I went that many, and then that one. So it's 10 plus 1. It's 11. No, it was 10. You're, you're doing ready as two. You're, you're going just be ready. We're not counting syllables, we're counting words. You said 10 words or less, not syllables. No, no I didn't. No, just be ready to talk, think, work, and have fun. Is that for real? I mean, come on, where'd we get this guy from? I didn't.